no one could ever tell the difference. Yes, amazing, I dare say. And you'd better be good, or else. We will keep shooting and stop only for your doubles to take your place for the realism scenes, okay? Okay. Ready, light, camera, action! Police Chief to Catman! Ding Dong, the creature from outer space, has escaped! We need your help! Let's go, Reuben. We must save the city. Or else. Ding Dong is not around here, Reuben. Perhaps if we then have higher. Cut! Doubles on the set! Cut. Stars on stage. Already? Well, if we must, a star's work is never done. We must capture Ding Dong to the cat car. Places. Oh, dear. We need a vacation. Oh, we certainly do. Doubles into the cat car. Let's go, 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 go. Camera car. Follow up. Oh, that's great, Harvey. Great. Does that Harvey the stuntman? For real, it's a very from outer space. See you later. that giant creature for you, officer. Cut! Doubles on the roof! You throw the cat rope to the other roof and swing down. Get it? Cut! Ready for stars close up. Oh dear, another tough scene. I'll save you, Reuben, old chap. Cut. Thanks, fellas. Uh, move that camera in for a close-up. Good heavens, 
You mean we'll have to do our own stunts? <laughs> Once a century magician's convention. Now I, Sap Stone the Sorcerer, will prove who's the greatest of us all. No oh, man, Fred, my magic prop room is a mess. Where is that worthless apprentice of mine? Man, Fred, are you sleeping on the job again? Sorry, Master. <sighs> oh! <sighs> I must have dozed off. And for the last time, you lazy luck. I shall seek a new apprentice to replace you. Aha! Uh -huh. Or even better! Two for the price of one! Ah! So glad you volunteered to be my new apprentices. Huh? Uh, me? Replaced by a cat and mouse? You can't do this, master! I can do anything! And you can go chase your tail! Okay, Master, since you put it that way. Now, for my new apprentices. Clean up this messy magic room and see that my props are in order for tonight's big show. Whilst I nap. Boy, are you guys going to be sorry for stealing my job? Uh, just as soon as I catch my tail.
Hark! It's my arch enemy, the Bowler! Right you are, Chicken Super King, and I'm here to bowl you over! <laughs> oh, goodness! You just ruined my wall! You win, Super King! You knocked the pins out from under me! I'll be nice from now on! I know the score! That rumor about you being cowardly sure was false! Bye! Sucker! <laughs> oh! I was only fooling Super King! Please, spare me! You may split! Turn in your bowling shoes and go directly to jail! Thanks, Super King! Tom and Jerry, you have given me new courage. And for your reward, I'm making you deputy super capes. Together we shall fight badness and rid our city of crime. Super cape? You're back in action, you say? Sure, I've got crimes for you to fight. At this very moment, your arch enemy, High C, is headed for the Navi Piano Store. This is a job for Super Cape. Oh, yes, and for Tom and Jerry, too. Da 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 da! Oh, goodness, that scared feeling is coming back. I'm getting cold feet again. Tom and Jerry, you will have to go on ahead while I grapple with my nerves. You must stop High C before he sings and breaks the window. Go to it! Oh my goodness! I forgot to tell them how to pull out of a dive! my high note, which will shatter the glass, and the piano is mine. Do, re, mi, fa, so. <laughs> I've lost my voice! Da, 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 da. Super King! The window was broken before you even got here, so you were off key from the start. Foiled by Super King! <laughs> Breaking the glass was very clever, Tom and Jerry, Super Cape deputies. Wait, it's a message from the Chief on my two-way radio bracelet. Yes, Chief? The mustache is messing up all the posters over at Billboard Row. Stop it! Now, here's the plan. You two will paste up these self-sticking posters to slow him up. Then, I come from behind and grab him. Get it? <laughs> oh dear, he's there. But my cold feet are back. All right, you two, what's this all about? Something around the corner, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> Yikes! A real cop! And you're going to a real jail! Son of the car! Super Kid, my arch enemy! You're behind this! Nice work, Super Kid! Your two deputies led him right into a trap! Good work, boys! Your actions have given me the courage to go in alone! No man alive can frighten me again. No man, do you hear? Da -da -da -da. No, no, help! Not you! I forgot about fat woman. I quit. The job is all yours. Da -da -da -da. So once again, the city is at peace, and clothes are delivered each day without fear from the little tailor shop, because Super Capes, Tom and Jerry, are on the job. Delivery! Boy, there go two real Super Cape heroes.
Once upon a time, in a small village near a big castle, there lived a poor little orphan girl named Cinderella. Cinderella lived with her two mean stepsisters and her mean stepmother. Okay, baby cake. I'm your mean stepmother for this story, and you better believe it. You don't look convinced. Stand at attention when I'm talking to you. All right, let's get cracking. I want the windows washed. I want the dishes washed. Oh, I want the floors swept. But most of all, I want my two beautiful daughters made ready for the ball. Yeah. Well, semi-cute daughters. Well, how about somewhat less than repulsive daughters? Would you buy that? Well, what are you waiting for? An early snow? Get moving! Now, my two sweet pussycums, it's time to get ready for the ball. <laughs> Now listen, you freeloading cat. You're making a bigger mess than before. Hmm. I don't remember no dumb cat in this fairy tale. Now, my precious darling, are you ready yet? No, because Cinderella is not helping enough. Well, if some people can't help out around here, well then, some people wouldn't be able to go to the ball. Right, girls? Yes, Mother. <laughs> Cinderella! Cinderella, help me with my powdered wig. Cinderella, I need help with my lipstick. And hurry up! Cinderella! You pet. Come, my two enchantresses. That was really mean of that mean stepmother. I mean, really. And those two mean sisters, if you know what I mean. What this story needs now is a fairy godmother to lighten things up, if you get my meaning. Ooh, ooh, here I am, your fairy godmother. I think I'm your fairy godmother. Oh, yes, of course I am. Nobody else looks like a fairy godmother around here. So it must be me. See, I have the regulation wand with that sparkling stuff coming out of it. Well, I'm sure I'm a fairy godmother. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Of course, I've got to be a fairy godmother. Don't I? I'll prove it to you. <laughs> I'll do a little magic. I'll change that mirror on the wall into a clear blue lake. <laughs> Here I am, your fairy chicken. Oh, why, that's not right. Oh, what am I again? You're our fairy godmother. Oh, of course. How silly of me. I'm your fairy godmother. And you have to get ready for the ball. First, you're going to need a team of white horses to pull your carriage. That doesn't seem right. I know a pumpkin has something to do with this story. Oh, well, anyway, we still need a carriage. Oops. Oh, now let's see. Maybe the dress goes on the pumpkin. That's it. The dress goes on the pumpkin. Wow. Dynamite. Oh, hello again, darling. Now we need last slippers. Oh, oh my goodness. It's Chicken Rella. 
No, that is definitely not the name of this story. Oh, if this will never do, dearie. Oh, why don't you go just as you are, and I'll go with the horse carriage. To the ball! My two lovely daughters. You'll not find two more gorgeous girls in all your kingdom. Right, girls? Right. Yuck. Show the nice princey how well you dance. Yikes! Uh, pay no attention to that silly creature, Princey. This is the daughter who can treat the life fantastic. <laughs> We'll have it all by the end of the day. Deal? No trespassing. This means keep out, especially crows. Okay, but how about just one little ear of corn? Because we're friends. Handcuffs. It looks like we're not friends. Well then, fellas, arrivederci, adios, aloha, adieu, cheerio, farewell, and bye-bye. Ah, corn. Delicious corn. <laughs> you forgot one. Hey, don't lock me in here. It's dark and I can't get out. with all this corn. I can't believe it. They hit 
is some corn in a toy. <laughs> hey, I'm stuck in here. No fair, you guys fill this with glue. Wow, I'm being sky now. Well, since there's no stewardess, I'll have to serve myself.
think I'm just an absent-minded professor. <laughs> but if I succeed, the whole world will know my name. The name of... Uh, 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 my name... Oh, this is so embarrassing. Uh, could you give me a hint? First word. Quack, 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 quack. Duck? Second word. First syllable. Jack, Jack. The second syllable. Sick. Ill. Ill. Duck, Jack, Ill. Duck, Jackal, Duck, Jackal, Dr. Jackal. Oh, yes, that's me. And now, would you bring some tea, please, while I carry on with my experiments? Hmm, it appears to be ready. I will test it on myself. Down the hatch. <sighs> I don't feel any taller, but I do feel some changes. Come to see a monster. 
Now, where's this fearful monster you're talking about? Could you direct me to a phone, please? Hello, Chief. Yeah, about that monster at Dr. Jackal's house? There is one. Get it, Chief. Honest. Well, bring it in the trash. We'll run the wall. It's for you. Huh? Bring it in the trash. Yeah, Chief. Arrest him? Insult an officer? Okay, Chief. You're under arrest. Time off for good behavior? It's me! I'm the monster! So you see, it's because of this formula that I was turned into a monster. And all because I wanted to be tall. It taught me a lesson that short is beautiful. And now I will destroy the formula forever! Let's celebrate with tea and cookies. Captain, my son, enemy. Captain, my son, enemy. 
Christ, you got a rid of habeas corpus or something? A camping permit even? Here, let me scrutinize that document. Huh? Build your own log cabin? Log? Logs from my tree? My home even? Surely you jest? You don't jest. You're serious. Huh? Very well. You've aroused my anger. You've made me miffed even. And a miffed squirrel spells trouble. Problems even. Hmm. Perhaps a warning will suffice. Stand by for a warning shot over the bow. Or on the bow even. Perhaps those interloping trespassers didn't understand. Perhaps they forgot my warning. Perhaps this will refresh their memories. Right ahead, and one scoop is all it'll take to upend that tree. 
This time, I will do the high speed Paso de Muerte. <laughs> the crowd will love it. Now, you're fighting El Rotten, the toughest bull around. <laughs> 